thing we didn't talk about was the umpiring. Umpiring's been suspect to say the least. As and I'm not, I'm the last guy to blame anything on the umpiring. Right. Everyone has the same kind of the umpiring. Go out there and just play the game without excuses. Right. The umpires had a, a floating strike zone, so they were talking about. You mentioned this earlier, yeah. an artificial kind of like with lasers and cameras mm -hmm. strike zone, and they experimented this when I was living in Charlotte yeah. with the Charlotte Nice Triple A team for the White Sox, and. Kid you not, players actually loved it because it was consistent. It was the same every time. They knew what they were getting. It just took some getting used to, but and they loved it. And that's the thing, consistency, right? You mm -hmm. want the same ball, this inning, next inning. Yes. Call it like you see it. And artif artificial intelligence is everywhere, right? We use it in our everyday lives, but now it's the future in baseball as well. And that's why the MLB has been experimenting with this new AI technology used in the strike zone to help them differentiate between balls and strikes. It kind of reminds me of technology you would use like in golf. like a, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Right. One of those machines. Or tennis, even in, yeah. te in tennis as well. It's like it's the inst instantaneous mm -hmm. feedback that you get. Yeah. All right. Well, our Natalie, he got some more information about this technology. She's joining us live now from Kirby Ice House. How's it going there, Natalie? Well, right now, people starting to fall in, getting excited for the game. But let me tell you, there is nothing that can anger these fans more when they're frustrated over an umpire's calls. And like Will mentioned, it's been experimented all over. We caught up with the Space Cowboys about how they're using it on their team. Off we go in game four. Questionable calls made by umpires it happens all the time in baseball, and the 2023 postseason is proving no different. Frustrated Astros fans have complained about it every game so far this ALCS. I will personally sponsor the umps Lasix if they need that. They are blind as can be. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It was so, so bad. bad. So like, bad. A four-year-old can call a better game than that ump tonight. It was, it was ridiculous. How many calls so far in this series have been affected by bad um calls? Over 20. Over 20. Over 20. It took 16, 16 pitches to figure out that 11 were against us. So what, is, what was the count tonight? You know, it's all coming, coming into public tonight. That's all coming out to public. This now reignites the debate on whether Major League Baseball should implement the automatic ball strike system, also known as robo-umps. The technology is free of human error and possible bias. It's already being used in all 30 AAA ballparks this year, including Constellation Field, home of the Sugarland Space Cowboys. We use automatic balls and strikes, so we have Hawkeye technology that tracks the flight of the ball, it approximates the center of it, and then when it crosses over a certain plane, that's where it notates if it's a ball or a strike. On Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays this past season, Garrett Green with the Space Cowboys says the team was allowed to challenge a call made by a robo-ump. The question is, how soon could the majors begin utilizing this technology? Umpires still get a, a high percentage of strikes right, but as you've seen in this American League Championship Series, there have been pitches that were called balls that should have been strikes and strikes that should have been called balls. If you could just have those moments be adjudicated, I think that's the ultimate route that's probably going to be the best, and you don't see it slow the game down. And our experts say it won't happen next year, maybe the year after, but how soon exactly, we don't know that answer just yet. But when we asked a lot of people out here, a lot of them actually think it could work. I mean, it's, in so many ways, it's easier to blame a robot if there's a bad call. You can challenge it, of course. So many options here. But uh, once again, this watch party over here at Kirby's Ice House starting to get packed. We're just a few minutes away now from a first pitch. So if you're not out yet, you want to watch the game, you better get your ass out here. So guys, back to you at Minute Maid Park. <laughs> That's right, Natalie. We've got that little countdown to first pitch going on on our screen. So the excitement is building outside here at Minute Maid Park.